Hey guys, Poker Walking with Noodles. Blankety Blank Man here, and I finally got Dante out of the house. Hello. Say hi, Dante. Hi, this is Dante225. I really hope you can hear that on the spe- on the microphone on my speaker, on my, on my phone. But I've been listening to the recordings for my previous Poker Walking videos, and it sounded pretty good for me, so hopefully it'll sound good enough for Dante. If so, not, no one cares. If not, no one. Oh, come on, they like you, right? Eh, Pidgey. So, we're here at the Stonebriar Center Mall in Frisco. I'm about to start using a lucky egg and evolving a bunch of Pokemon. Dante's going to catch stuff. I'll catch stuff when I'm done evolving. Let's see. Lucky egg. Start evolving. I can evolve a Bulbasaur, but I can't get it into... I can't evolve the Ivysaur, so I'm going to skip the Bulbasaur. Swipe left. Weedle, evolve, evolve Kakuna. Okay, Cubone, Pidgeot, Radita. Um, there's a, you have a spear yet? There's a spear nearby. I do need a Spiro. Level up to 21, because I was already pretty close to that when starting. Give me the Spiro. There's the Spiro. Uh, and I can evolve my Krabby, my first Kingler. Dante, I'm trusting you know where you're going. Can't evolve Rhyhorn, can't evolve Dratini, can't evolve okay, Coughing. Close enough to get the stop. I can evolve my Ekans though. I can get my Arbok. Twenty-three. Wow, that was a horrible. Okay. Oh, it was a low Ekans to start with, so it's got high IVs, but its CP was low because it was low level. Okay, well, there's a stop right next to us, so. And get my first Parasac. Because it's got better IVs. My... Alright, I'm trusting you, Dante, to not lead us astray. you with leading astray, GPS signal I found. Here you come. have you. Oh, I didn't have enough to evolve into Butterfree. I thought I had more. Oh well. Well, you were wrong. I was wrong. I'm going to hold off on evolving the Eevees for the moment, even though I can... I think I can evolve three Eevees. I'm going to hold off for now. Have a big enough IV for you? Oh no, I've got some with good IVs. It's just I want to rename them before evolving them to, to guarantee what I get. Okay. But I can get Executor 1116 with Zen Headbook and Solar Beam. Wow, that's pretty good actually. Yeah. That's not bad. If it has good IVs. It, yeah, it, about up to 89%. So the IV calculator gives you a range of what it could possibly be because we don't have access to the actual IVs. So my execute could be up to 89%. I saw one but couldn't catch it before. I'll get the stop. Probably there's nothing really impressive nearby. That means I don't have to interrupt my evolutions to do to get stuff. Okay. I ain't wandering around until it gets to be good. Okay. I'm following you. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to evolve my Bulbasaur. Actually, no, wait. he's only got 60 on the outside. Never mind. 
Ignore what I just said. Yes, One thousand ten on the Venom off. Nice. What was its move set? Bug bite and psychic. Yeah, sadly psychic isn't. Well, let's see. Nope, it's all Pidgeys. I see Pidgeys and Rattatas. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I just got a new Gloom. Yeah, the most interesting thing we've seen so far is a Spearow. Five billion Pidgeys in this game. Well, how else do you get experience in this <laughs> game? All right, now I'm gonna start evolving all of my trash Pidgeys. Stop. Yeah. That's awesome. I think. But where is it? Yeah, GameStop. That's hilarious. It might be downstairs. Because this is multi-story. There's a Zubat. I see wild Zubat. I'm gonna catch it. Mine's 200 something. My undershot. There we go, I hit it. The problem is that every time I threw one, it kept doing its attack animation. Oh, I know. I, I, or when they jump. It's so annoying. Okay. Following you, Dante. Yep. I got Pidgeys to evolve. Maybe. I'm following you. Right. Area. You mm. go there, possibly get the ten different stops in a row. Get the Mega Poke stop. <laughs> Army of Pidgeotos. Should be near here. Uh. uh yeah. I was just trying to get out of people's way. I was just trying to get out of people's way, because there's a lot of people here. They have finish line. Yeah, Maybe it got changed and the map hadn't been updated? <laughs> so they're just seeing me evolving Pidgeys when we're talking about corners and things. Oh, finding Nemo doll thing. Yeah. I still have 63 candies. So Dante has been absorbed oh, yeah. by the GameStop. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because I have one. I have two of them. I'm not in range of either of these Pokestops. That's annoying. No, not power up. Evolve. Not a fan of Lego? I'm just not at the moment. I will break into pieces and leave the shards in your bed. <laughs> I'm trusting you. There's a Pidgey. Well, that's the focus stop. I want the Pidgey. Eh. The Pidgey disappeared. Dang it. Dante's laughing at me. I do that all the time. Yeah, but they can't hear you because you were too far away. Ha! Huh. <laughs> That's fair. I don't think I have enough for my Spiro. Yeah, I still need 12 more candy for Spiro. Not even on that door. I don't know if he was attempting to mock us and but failing. I <laughs> Or if he was talking to his friend. I don't see a Caterpie. Oh well, I'm almost done with my evolutions. Got two more Weedles. Close together in the indoor mall. The Niantic didn't want to put that many Pokestops yeah. that close together. Admittedly, the place we went last week had another spear, or yeah, another spear. 
I do not have very much Zubat candy. But Spiro, I will catch. Bean him in the head. No, he, ran, he broke free. How dare you break free? Throw a raspberry at you. That was odd. Oh, he attacked. And... Okay. No, he broke free again. Stupid Spiro. Why won't you learn to stay caught? Also, across down here, also like this like, river, so maybe some water. Might, might get some water Pokemon. There we go, caught the Spiro. Okay. Alright, so unless I get another Pidgey, I'm done evolving. I think. Let me double check. I can evolve my Bulbasaur, but he maxes out at 60% IVs. So I'm gonna hopefully wait for a better one. That's not what I wanted to click. Let me trash these extra dudes, these Kakunas and Pidgeotos that I don't need. Yep. Okay, there's a lot more parking spots on this side. It would have been nice to go here. Mm-hmm. Well, we got a parking spot, oh, so... Oh, yeah, but... I was like, it's easy to get in and out on this side, too. Fair enough. Oh, I have enough, I have enough candy to evolve another... Weedle into Kakuna if I catch one. We've got 19 Weedle candy. Yeah. We to cross over here the question. I'm actually going to have enough candy for two Pidgey evolutions into Pidgeotto. If I can get some Pidgeys. Okay, there's a stop sign over there, so I say we go down that way. Crossing at a stop sign sounds like a plan. On the other hand, I could use this Pidgey candy to power up my new Pidgeotto, since it has decent IVs. Oh, I forgot about my my um, EVs. I need to do my EVs. Yes. I've still got like five minutes left on my on my egg. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do the EVs right now, so I don't forget. All right, rename you to Rainer. Evolve. So what I've heard is that it might be that you that that trick only works the first time you do it. Okay. That said, it was a decent Jolteon. I'm gonna try again. Just in case. Such is life. Such is life. Okay. And I don't have, I only have 12 EV candies left. He costs 25 to evolve. I do have another Eevee that's worth keeping, but I don't have enough candy. Got it. I see it. No, he attacked. Don't attack, Eevee. Just get captured. That's what you're supposed to do. Just get captured. Wiggle. Wiggle. Wiggle! Have you been counting how many stops we've hit today? Mm, no. Remember, we hit the... Uh I hit the game stop twice, so I think that restarts. Yeah, that resets it for you. You screwed yourself. Yeah. 
I think that's, I think I have two so far with the reset. Okay, time to walk. And I still have three minutes on my lucky egg. Got about 21 and a half. And another stop. Third base? We got to third base? Yep. Okay, I think we now want to cross this way. Okay. So, because there's some crazy exponential EXP curve on the level up. I didn't get four levels this weekend. But I got one and a half. Yeah. Well, actually more like a half because I was already nearly 21. Half a level. A lot more than I would have without the Lucky Egg. And of course you have one of those jackasses who like to park in the middle of the cross for a while. Yep, one of those jackasses. So yesterday, when I was walking, I became much better at dodging in a gym battle. Nice. Such that I got to a point when fighting a, an enemy gym, I can run out the timer. Nice. So you get 99 seconds to... There we go. You get 99 seconds to do your battle, and I managed to run out the timer. Jimmer coming up to... What are they leading with? 1,000 Executor, 1,100 Playable, and a Oh, I got an egg! Vaporeon. Let's start hatching some eggs. Let's see if I get anything good. I think, I think I've, all, I've all got all fives. Oh, no, I've got a two and some fives. I think that's right. And another spot. You know what? I'm going to evolve that radish head before my lucky egg runs out. Because I think I've just still got like a... And I just got an egg. Yeah, usually you'll fill them up before you use them up. Unless you do that super hack where you go to a, <laughs> ride on one of those little trains. Uh huh. Well, there was Pokestops on that train in the oh. video too. So they were hatching all their eggs and hitting Pokestops. I don't really want to catch that Rattata, to be honest. Five seconds on my egg. And lucky egg is over. So I went more than halfway to level 22. Yes. Oh, look, and there's a Team Valor gym in the distance. Yeah, I saw that. Not... I'm not sure I want to walk that yeah. far. Most likely go to the uh, Mystic gym, fight there, and then the stop near yeah, so... around. So what I, what I learned about battling... Oh, there's a wheel. Since I have the candy to evolve another wheel. Well, I, I just ran out of my lucky egg. I'm not going to catch that wheel. So the AI for the gyms is really stupid. They have a set attack pattern. As soon as the battle with the new Pokemon starts, they'll attack twice in succession. And then from then on... They'll attack once approximately every two seconds. Whenever they attack, there'll be a yellow flash around the screen, and that's when you need to swipe to dodge. Get that Caterpie, because I need to evolve my Metapod, because I've got a good Metapod. Mm -hmm. Oh, he escaped. Of course, we're about to... The gym, we might as well sit down. Yeah, we can sit down for the gym. With Mumford and Sons in the background. <laughs> there we go, we got the Caterpie. Dropped off the face of the earth, didn't they? Because like they won 
song of the year. He won a Grammy. I don't think I've heard much about him since. Okay, so there'll be a yellow flash around the screen when you can dodge. They'll start off attacking twice, then they'll continue about once one attack every two seconds. So depending on the animation speed of the Pokemon you're using, you can get between like one and three attacks between theirs, and then you dodge. Like three attacks, dodge, three attacks, dodge, or you know maybe one. Like my Golduck can do one attack. My Vaporeon can do three. So it depends on what you're using. And if you use the same Pokemon enough, you'll get into a groove of what they can do. I'm going to send my Execute against their Execute. Or Executor. Except mine, I renamed mine, so it's still called Execute. I don't know how this one's attack system is going to go. Wow, I can't see the flash for this guy. Oh, because it's so bright, that's why. It's hard for me to see the flash. This one had a flurry on. Oh well. Is it fully healed? I checked the potions and such, so. And then use your charge attack right after they use theirs. And you'll have a lot more time for the recovery. Dang it, Executor would die. So you can't dodge the entire damage. You can't dodge all the damage, you still take a little bit. Ah. Strangely, Snorlax has an annoyingly fast attack rhythm. Dang it. It's really hard for me to see that flash when it's bright out. And my Golduck is slow. My Golduck is super slow. What? No, I said... Dang it. Okay, got one. Yeah, I'm on the Clefable right now. Nope. Ah, shoot. Ah, it just one shot my. See your Vaporeon fighting? Yeah, my Vaporeon's pretty good. Oh, wow, it has Moon Blast. Yeah, and I didn't quite dodge the Moon Blast correctly. Killed that Clefable. Dodged his Aqua Tail. Oh, not quite enough. Oh well. Okay, stop attacking my Vaporeon's corpse. Give me my next Pokemon. There we go. Kingler's not too bad. Maybe because you're still here, it's keeping me in the fight, even though it's... I have no Pokemon left. Eh, I'm not getting my rhythm with Kingler. Since he's my new Pokemon, I haven't quite got the rhythm. I said dodge that Aqua Tail, dang it. Well, we're down below 15 seconds now. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, he's in the red, though. Yeah, so we'll probably kill that Vaporeon, maybe. Oh, I need to, uh, come on, come on. Hurricane. No, time's up. Not going to the siege for you add, though. Yeah, so when you're fighting against an opposing gym, then the amount of prestige you knock down is based on how many Pokemon you beat. Yeah. 
when you're fighting your own gym, the amount of prestige is based on the difference between the CP of the two of the Pokemon fighting. All right, I need to heal up. I have way too many revives. Everyone does, unless you're constantly fighting gems. But like, I don't need more revives than I have hyper potions. Like, absolutely not. And last night I was fighting a gym a lot. So last night I went to the gym at the park, and I it was at level four okay. with Team Mystic. I brought it down to zero on my own, put my Golduck there, fought against it, brought it up to level three. It got brought down by Team Mystic. Uh, so when I went there, it was a Dodrio, a Lapras, and a Snorlax that were defending it. And I brought it down to zero, put my Golduck there, trained. It got brought down to zero. That same Snorlax got put in. I fought against it some more. A second Snorlax got put in. Brought it down to zero. Uh, put my Golduck in. And another Team Valor put in their uh, Dragonite. And then I trained against my Golduck for a little bit till I ran out of potions. And then went home. How many stops have I done? Let me count. One, two, three. Wait, was that three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've done eight today. There aren't ten in the, like our normal walking path around. Yeah, there's only seven. The home. So, uh, uh, there's seven, right? I think so. One at the park, two at the church, two at the, uh, at the quad si yeah. at the uh, college. Then no, three at the college. That's eight. No, six. That's six. And then one at the the strip mall. Seven. Yeah. Really. The strip mall also has the Bukok, and I one Bukok. No, 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 the other strip mall. Oh, okay. With, with the, the Revolution Church. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I probably could have done more over at that gym. No, I didn't mean to click on the gym. But, stop clicking on the gym, dang it. There we go. Stonebriar Weathervane. That's a dead end. Well, actually, I think we can get it from within that dead end. If you look at the stop compared yeah. to the map. Let's do it. Let's walk down a creepy alleyway. It's, it's not that creepy. It's just like where all the trash is. Yeah. No mugging lure. Nope. Alright, so this ought to be a mega poke stop for me, but not for you. Yep. on the inside the building, that Yeah. But my avatar is going the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, my avatar is like way over there. Okay. <laughs> my avatar is on that side. Dang it. Oh, we can just try somewhere else. Like here. Dang it, I'm gonna get this Pokestop. Yeah, it's all screwy. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this should be Mega Poke Stop for me. One, two, three, four. That was only four items. Okay, let's be short one. 
or I may have hit a Pokestop twice without noticing, because I wasn't paying attention to things while I was yeah. doing my okay, evolving. Poke up with a lure down the street. That's right over there. Let me go back to get all the ones near the water. That works for me. Oh, wait, I have an egg hatching. Excellent. Is it something awesome? Do you know what size egg it is? I think it's my 10. No, it was my two. It was a caterpillar. Yeah, I don't have a ten at the moment. Although I have several fives that are going to be coming in. Here's my two egg. Yeah, I don't have any free... I have a free five egg, but I don't have any free incubators. Yeah, I hatched a two egg earlier and it got a ratata. And then I put another two in... And at the time, all of my five eggs, except for one, were at two out of five. So I'm going to get my second two egg before I hatch my fives. But I'm going to end this video, because it's at 43 minutes right now. And I guess I'll start another one once we get to that Pokestop with a lure at it, the Dark Pepper Arena. Because that will hopefully be a mega pokestop out for me, and that's always fun. And then we'll head over to the water. Oh, and there's that park, that dark green park area to the north as well. Yeah. All right. So and there's a bouncy castle. Bouncy castle. It's really loud. All right. So that'll be it for this video, and I'm about to start another one soon.